Hey guys, this is Eric, and today we're going to be doing a review for Otaku Fuel. Head on over to otakufuel.com for all your art supply needs. They have amazing customer service and do everything they can to support the art community. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Start Sketching Sepia Collection Drawing Kit from Copic. This drawing kit contains the colors E37, E33, as well as a mechanical pencil and a multi-liner. So what you'll find in this set is two Chow Copec markers, E37, E33 as mentioned, as well as a mechanical pencil and a sepia Copec multi-liner. So the mechanical pencil that comes with the drawing kit is your standard mechanical pencil, in this case a 0.5. HB lead mechanical pencil contains an eraser at the back pretty comfortable to use and will definitely get the job done for you the goal of this review is to review the entire drawing kit so what we're going to be doing today is taking each element of the drawing kit and and at the end of it have a have a completed piece uh, I'll be drawing a muscular arm today. I'm obviously starting out with the mechanical pencil. I do apologize in advance for the shaking of the video. My camera is attached to the drawing table and uh, unfortunately it shakes along with my with my movements. Since I wanted to demo an entire piece, um, the video is a little bit on the longer side. If you would like to fast forward to each individual section where I where I use the the multi-liner to ink after this and then color it in with the chow markers you can certainly do so. The inclusion of the 0.5 millimeter HB lead I think is a good decision as a 0.5 is probably a good a good happy medium whereas 0.3 would be too thin and 0.7 and 0.9 would be a bit on the a bit on the thick side. So I have my base drawing down now, now I'm going to just go ahead and reinforce those lines that I want to keep. It'll help me when I start inking to see which lines I want to specifically ink over. Alright, so here's the included Copic multi-liner, which is the 0.5 millimeter sepia multi-liner. As noted with the size of the of the mechanical pencil lead, um, I think this is again a ver versatile size that they chose. Uh, you can get thin lines as well as thick lines if you desire. Um, I think it'll It'll suit your needs just fine for the purpose of a drawing kit. So as mentioned before, I'm just going over those darker pencil lines that I reinforced. And then after that we'll uh, move on to the coloring. I recommend that you let the ink dry for a few minutes before you start coloring with the chow markers. If you don't wait long enough your your ink will smudge once you start coloring and you don't want that. In this video I didn't wait too long after inking so there may be some smudges here and there.
So along with allowing the ink to dry, is also allowing it to dry before you start erasing. Uh, I'm going to be using the eraser on mechanical pencil again, trying to use every element within this drawing kit just to just to demo what all you can do with it. And just erasing the underdrawing here, so we can move on to onto the coloring. Okay, so let's get started coloring. This is the E33 Copic Child Marker included in the set. It includes your brush tip on one end. And the chisel tip on the other end for covering larger areas. As you can see, you can get quite a lot of color down with the chisel tip. With the brush tip you can vary your line width thin lines to thicker lines. So for the base tone I'll be using the E33 marker. Uh, in, a, in effect we really have three colors. Uh, the, th the third color being the white of the paper. So we'll use the we'll use the white of the paper for highlights. Uh, but again, I'll I'll just be putting down the the base tone, the lighter tone uh, first. So now we're moving on to the darker tone, the E37. And we'll use this for the darker shades. Copic markers are fantastic for blending, as I'll demonstrate here. I'll put the darker tone down. What I like to do then is uh, saturate the paper with the, with the lighter tone. And then start pulling from the darker color to the lighter color. And if you do that enough, you can get a nice blend there. So I'm putting the darker color down on those areas of, of the form where there will be more shade. After which I'll blend it out a bit. Now moving back to the E33 base tone and blending from the darker color to the lighter just to help enforce the form of the arm.
that is the completed piece for uh, this review using the sepia start sketching Copic drawing kit. Be sure to visit Otaku Field for all your art supplies. And you can visit me at Eric Grove Art on Instagram, Twitter, and Periscope. Thanks for watching.